Hi, this is your six month post-op video. So you're halfway to a year out from surgery. At this point, a lot of you have probably experienced your first weight plateau or your first stall. Uh, congratulations, I'm sure you were not excited about it, but it is again, a completely normal process. You know, we've talked about this in, in other videos and the emails in the past that this is just a normal process of losing weight. It is, it is frustrating, but it is to be expected. And as long as you really continue to, you know, focus on your water and getting hydrated, you know, getting lean proteins in, whole plant-based foods, so lots of vegetables and fruits, whole grains, lean meats, uh, that is the stuff that is really going to ultimately decide your success with surgery and and hopefully help you to maintain your weight long term. So again, bear with it. Those those plateaus are normal. This is a good time too to really change up your exercise routine, maybe add some more challenging work in, you know, trying to get a little bit faster at something or maybe a little bit stronger, doing some resistance activities. All of those things can help with that weight loss plateau. This is also a good time to kind of talk about weight loss and the, the the pounds that are maybe coming off and how those might be changing. At this point, it is very rare for people to be losing, you know, five pounds or more in a week. Now, if you had a higher BMI going into surgery and just had, you know, more weight to lose to reach your, you know, kind of quote unquote ideal body weight, according to all those nice medical books, uh, you might still be losing that much or so. But for a lot of you, you know, you're probably losing somewhere around one or two pounds a week. Now for my more petite patients, especially a lot of my females that are five, three in height or less, you tend to lose a little bit slower. And that's simply because you don't need as much. Your body habitus isn't as, as much as big, as tall. Uh, so a half a pound might be what you're losing. Again, I understand if you're frustrated, but that's really good normal weight loss. And it's important to remember that how quickly you get to your goal weight, how fast you lose weight, is no indication of your long-term success and your long-term maintenance of that weight loss. It's just the rate. Now, it's exciting to lose fast. It's, it's a lot more fun <laughs> as well, but it's no indication of how well you will do long-term. So I think those are good things to keep in mind. This is also an important time to get your labs checked if you have not. Uh, so do that this month, you know, call your primary care physician's office, make sure they know what labs you need to have checked. If you don't, you know, you can always reach out on our Facebook page or check old posts. I also have it in a lot of handouts and emails that you have received as well. But if for some reason you can't find that, feel free to always send a message to myself and I'd be glad to pass that along to you as well. So in the comment section below, you know, please let us know sort of how you've gotten through plateaus, if you've reached one already. If you haven't reached one, it may be what you're kind of planning on doing to hopefully sort of power through that plateau. So, and as always, please remember to like and share this video.